I'm Jo Frost and it's true, I'm back. And I'm traveling across America helping families who desperately need my help. I've been in the parental arena for three decades and the advice and techniques that I give to families come from experience. It's going to be hard work, but it's always worth it. So I'm in Spokane to help the Tobek Lawrence family. They are a blended family. Clean up this kitchen, Keenan. I, I want you to go upstairs and close your door. They are challenged with how they can blend in more harmony. I'm telling Dad you're, you're being mean. disrespectful. You I'm cannot get what you want, mean. but Jackson, you to the mean. count of three to go to your room. I'm OK! One, my name's Crystal Tobek. And my name is Jeff Lawrence. I met Jeff five, six years ago. And then we moved in together a couple of years ago and very recently got married a month ago. We both have two children from previous relationships. My kids are Keenan. He loves to joke around. And most of the time, it's only funny to him. So then you wrap it around in the... Yeah, that. <laughs> and Delaney, she's always happy unless she's getting in trouble. Telling a lie. I have Maya, who is very responsible but disrespectful. Go ahead and start putting the dishes away now, please. Oh, you have to make every single room. And Jackson, he's very kind hearted but can also have a very big temper. Stop! And then together, we, we have, have Hudson. Hudson. It made our family complete. When I made this decision to be a stay at home mom, the kids were super excited. I thought for sure, you know, this is going to be great. But then it got real, so. Trying to raise two children that aren't biologically mine, it's difficult. Why are you picking on Maya? I don't know. I'm not saying it was you. Yes, you are. No. I do hear often that you're not my real mom. I'm the mother raising you. Jeff and I have trialed and aired all sorts of disciplinary things. We've done clip charts and timeouts, and it's just nothing's working. Hey, Keenan, stop with the mouth! They start to back talk, and then Crystal, she ends up raising her voice. Mama, I can be excused. Yes, Delaney, take your plate and be excused. You are absolutely done for the night. Yes. Oh, Maya, get outside now! If something doesn't change, I am going to have a breakdown. I feel like I'm going to lose my life because she's not going to be able to handle much more. Yeah, to the kind of no! Or you're going to lose. No! Do you want to lose privileges? No! Before I begin working with the Tobek Lawrences, I'm going to be assessing how they interact with one another. And by the looks of things, I've arrived here just in time. The Super Nearly's coming. I'm so excited. Are you excited? <laughs> I don't want to cry right now. <laughs> like I'm quivering. We are looking forward to Joe. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm hoping for good results. There she is! It's Joe. It's Super Nanny. Hi. Hi. Hello, who are you? Jackson. Hi, Jackson. Pleased to meet you. I'm Joe. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> We're crying happy tears, like Delaney says. Good to meet Pleased you. Pleased to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Pleasure. Pleasure. And, and who are you? Delaney. Delaney. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, Hudson. That's a nice smile. Hi. Maya. Pleasure to meet you. How are you doing, Keenan? Nice to meet you. So I'm going to hang out with you guys today. Okay. I'm going to observe. I'm going to watch. Ask questions. You know what I do. I do. Yeah. That's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Maya! Guys, please, eyes on me, please. Hudson is sleeping. Do we have questions about that? Okay. Why not? No, I did not! Can I take off my shirt? Keenan, come here, please. I want the name calling to stop. I didn't even call her a name. I just called calling her a cheater is a name call. Do you, all right, you sit down, please. The lady, come here, please. Step closer, step closer. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Are you having an otter pop or not? Yes. Then go get one, please. I need you to put away your dad bag and I go. Did. You didn't, because I picked it up off of the floor. Where? Okay, fine. I'll put away my dad bag. And then bring up your laundry hamper. Mum is busy reprimanding these kids quite a lot. And watching how they're reacting, there's a loss of respect between mum and the kids. I want you to okay. go in your room and take a time out. Right now, she seems to be very calm. But that's not what I saw on the footage before I arrived. Mom? Yes, honey. Can I get at least four dollars for helping you out? Okay. If I'm gonna 
pick up a whole bucket. You have to give me $5. The deal was $4 a bucket. Jackson wants money, so he's filling a bucket full of rocks for four bucks. So he's out there earning some money, is he? That's right. That's what he's doing. <laughs> What's the verdict, Jax? It's filled. Awesome work. You, uh, let me see, let me see. For you. Good job. So do they get paid to do chores? No. He's asking for money. I mean, There's something to do. Sometimes. Money. Extra outside of our, we have, um. For something to do. Yeah, picking rocks. I made rocks chore or... charts and I laminated them. And is that attached uh, to money? No. no. The basic chores, house chores are no money. Do the kids have privilege of pocket money or not? Oh, yeah. Occasionally. It's not a... It's not consistent? No. So That's some true. chores are attached to money and some chores are not? These chores are not, and these are expected. Those are daily chores. Right. Uh, but then are there are not... some chores that are attached to money. Yeah. All right. Oof. On that house chore list is brushing teeth. But brushing your teeth is a life skill. And also, they get paid for some chores, but not for other chores. Confused yet? All right. Can I take these? Yes. Thank you. I'll bring them back. No worries. I promise. <laughs> That's fine. Mr. Pickle! Oh, okay. No! Can I have your attention, all yes. of you, for a moment? Can I ask you to sit on the beanbag? I want to ask you a few questions, some serious questions. Take your helmet off for a minute, Keenan. Yes. So, one of my important jobs is to make sure that what you're feeling, OK, is important that it's heard by your parents. So I'm going to ask you, is there something that you think is unfair in the home that you would like me to help you specifically with? They should give us a little less time out because whenever we get a time out, it, it, it it's turns literally into like 30 minutes. Right. And who's the person who primarily, the person who's the first one that will tell you off out of the parents? Usually it's it's Mom, Crystal it's because bad. Dad's at work normally. Uh, right. Day. She's like, yes. no arguing with me or in the morning you're going to have a 15 minute time out. Yeah, right, just okay. for that. This is a wonderful conversation. Yeah, and, and Your I children know. are very smart. You know exactly what's going on. Well, I can't say these kids didn't tell me what they needed. That's for sure. What do you think I can do for you all as brothers and sister here? Uh, we just want to have hurt, fun. She hurt uh, with our parents. Do you feel like you're having much fun right now? No. Do you feel sometimes angry? Yes, super angry always. when yeah. we're always angry. We haven't seen Dad laugh like since we were like three. Then that's well, that's upsetting you, isn't it, darling? I mean, you do. Tell me a bit about that, love. <laughs> Kenan. Yeah. Well, Kenan. Come here, yeah, love. Come here. Come here, love. Pat, right, come here. Come and sit down with come and sit down with me. Come and sit down with me. We haven't seen him laugh since I was like three. Why do you think Daddy's not happy? Because that obviously makes you feel very sad. Always oh, thinking we're doing bad. No I'll mention about disrespect or. Like, what would you say you are feeling right now? I'm feeling angry. Right and now. you're feeling angry. Because I'm feeling like I'm about to rip off my hair because of that because of what they're doing to us. Oh, this is an interesting conversation. Well, it's a backyard and a half, isn't it? Yeah. I've just been spending my time just talking to different yeah. kids around up what they have to say and been talking. Did you let her know we heard it? The basement so, yeah. talk, yeah. I would assume so. It's very close. Yeah. Well, we, we have we cameras have. in our, we have cameras that we've set up ourselves that are in our home. Tell me about that. So he can look in it when he's at work and... Right. Help. Show me that. Show me the cameras in your home to help. So the cameras are in Delaney's room, Myers, the basement. I mean, because a lot of times what happens is somebody it? comes busting through and saying, you know, somebody hit me or this and that, and then we can just say we were watching. What For did me, you gain from it? Peace of mind, because I can see my kiddos in there. <laughs> I'm just afraid something's going to happen, like somebody's going to get hit or hurt. It made me feel more in control. The fact that this family put cameras in their house, I think that's cause of concern, to be honest with you, because it doesn't allow you, at the end of the day, to build trust. I see you getting very emotional as we're talking about this. Because I feel like I should be able to parent my children. I think that's what... You know, it, it just bothers me. And I didn't get the cameras to parent, just, you know, because I am very active, very active. I'm just bouncing from one fire to the next. The dynamic was so much different with my own, too. 
How did it change when you became a family of five? I just I'm have doing... an intuition with my own kid, with Maya and Jackson, where I can feel when they're sad or I can feel when they're upset. And then with these two, it's sometimes a little harder to gauge their emotions or body language or what's really going on. And tell me why you think that is. I just don't know if it's the dynamics. I don't know. Or me not knowing how to help them. What do you want? I just want to help them. There are many a family out there, those who foster from those who adopt children, who intuitively are connected to their children. And they never gave birth. Let's talk in private, because I can see that you're struggling with this as a mother. Let's just sit here for a moment. If you're going to show up and give these kids what they need, it's got to start with you first. Nothing's working. And it's frustrating and it's hard on Jeff and I. Like, can somebody tell me I'm doing something right? Like, I love these children. And you're feeling what now, that you're not doing anything right? Yes. Why? Like, I feel like I'm failing every day because I will never be their mom. And that leads to emotional overwhelm and anger with the kids. You chose to marry a man who had kids. These are all of your children that you want to raise and be the mother figure for them. But there's a small piece of you that is sitting there saying, why don't they behave better? I'm bending over backwards. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing this. I and don't you know think what? I've taken it to that extent, but some of those thoughts, yes, I have thought. Their behavior is not because they woke up on a Tuesday morning and thought, you know what? I'm gonna piss Crystal off today. That's gonna be my whole agenda. No, I know. You can't create attachment. You can't create and build trust. If there's a wall of anger, we'll never help you connect with the kids in the way no. that, they, that they need. <laughs> You're right. You could change the way you respond and you could change in building connection with them because their empathy is what's going to be needed when Keenan needs to be held. And it's what Delaney's going to need, because when they're pushing away, you need to come closer. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we'll work on that, and we will get that in a different space, OK? Crystal has been really receptive to the one-on-one -on -one advice I've been giving her. When she starts recognising what these kids need and her ability to provide that maternal love they so desperately need, she will then realise the blessing she's been gifted with. So, sleep, rest, get your energy, and manana. All righty. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you. They really do need to change things, or those children are not going to receive the connection that they so desperately need. So I've had my observation with the family, and today I get to sit down and actually talk to the family about what I believe they need to do in being able to move forward. Good morning. I don't really know how this family are going to take the news that I have to deliver. I'm here because you are a blended family, and none of you as a family have been feeling happy for a long time. Crystal, you're incredibly sensitive. And yesterday, our conversation was about yourself and what you had to deal with. I think anything that's said to you becomes a reflection on your parenting that's attached to ego. Makes sense. I want to talk about the inconsistency with discipline. Yeah. You both need to get on the same page about what truly does warrant, you know, a consequence and what those consequences will be. I am not a fan of putting kids into their bedrooms for timeouts. I like their rooms to be places of peace and safety. I would recommend privilege removal for children of this age. So I move on here to talk about chores. I was so confused. The children 
have to do certain chores because it's part of their responsibility in the home. Mm -hmm. And they don't get paid for that. No. Yet, they get paid for other chores that you ask them to do when it comes to rocks. Or anything. Then why would they show up to do their bedroom if they're not going to get money for it? Sure. When I looked through the chore charts, I saw brushing hair, brushing your teeth. It's not a chore, it's a life skill. Self, it's not self a chore. Care. It, right. it comes under self-care and hygiene, but it's a, it's a life skill. The life skill stuff needs to come off because for me, chores are to teach children responsibility to master the ability to do the chore and to feel confident about it and competent. Go How on. do we ensure that it's gotten done? It's not about checking on someone, it's about teaching them and educating them about why it's important. So you're not being the person that is constantly on the kids and refereeing them 24-7 and not allowing them at times to sort their own stuff out. There's this control of going, I expect it this way and I want things that way, you can never do this and it's so tight, the kids switch off. That's self-sabotage, mm -hmm. right? And it doesn't connect you to the children either. It's not going to nurture Keenan and Delaney. Your need for control, Crystal, is stifling. I mean, the surveillance cameras in their bedrooms. I mean, they don't even have them in cells in prisons. And you've got surveillance cameras in their bedrooms. Yeah. It doesn't get any more invasive than that. I mean, even I went down to have a private conversation with the children. Right. You actually took it upon yourself to spy on me as a professional. Mm -hmm. You invaded my space, my privacy. I guess we didn't even look at, look at it that no. way. It was ridiculous anyways, when you're looking back. It's nothing I didn't, we've never heard, we've heard all that. You would learn so much more if you actually connect with kids and heard their stories and they all felt it was fair because they all got a chance to talk about it. Then you can start working it out and sometimes you're gonna miss stuff and sometimes you ain't. Right. And so that's why it's important for you both to connect with each other's children. Sure. Because you may know your own, biologically, but you need to know the others as well. Everybody says that they're great kids when they're out and about. It's and true. I think it's because they're not focused on what we're focused on. I think it's, we're, we're trying to make them perfect. Jeff, they are perfect. Just as they are. Yeah. So, a lot of work to be done. And we're going to do that one day at a time. Perfect. All right. Let's get to work. OK. Thank you. I was thinking of maybe uh, going and taking down the cameras. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay. It's hard to look at yourself and realize your own faults, and I didn't realize how much I'm trying to control here. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> I'm excited to learn to let go of some things, just so everyone can be a little bit more lighter around here. <laughs> Let's have a family combo. So here's what I'm going to do. You all want to be heard, and it's important that you are. So we don't have to shout, and we don't have to do what? <laughs> right? So enough of these mixed messages when it comes to house chores, what the kids get paid for, what they don't. I want to make sure that these parents are on the same page so that these kids know what the house chores are and what's expected of them. Um, instead of, like, 15-minute uh, timeouts, I think it should be 30 because you make it 30, so. We, we never put you in your room for 30 minutes. Yes, you do. You, you always do. Actually, what mum and dad might do is take a privilege away from you. Right. So you might lose the privilege of being able to do what all your rest of your siblings are doing instead of a timeout. OK. Yes. Yeah. So let's talk about chores. There is a lot of stuff to do. I don't feel like I should have to do everything around the house, and mom certainly doesn't feel like she oh. should have to do everything around the house. Do you think that mom and I should have to do everything? Yes. Do you think that's fair to us? Yes. You do? Because you, you guys like to do it. I, I, so You're I like cleaning the bathroom? It. Yeah. I do? Because you do it. Because I have to, to keep our things nice. Keenan, you've got to get better at that, because no one's there going to be picking up for you like a housekeeper. Let's touch on pocket money. Are they getting it? Are they not? How much is it? And is it weekly? I, I mean, I'd be fine with maybe like two bucks a week. But you will still be expected to do the chores that you will do. That's going to be something separate. There's going to be none of this $20 for picking up rocks. If you want to earn more money, 
then you're going to have a good conversation with your parents about maybe how you can earn some money around the neighborhood. We usually all like want to make money and they always say like, we can't do lemonade stands, although we know how to do them. Yeah, they brought, you guys have brought up a lemonade stand to me yeah. this summer, oh, once that? or twice. Um, no, just, once or twice, like five just, times. We've... And I just didn't take the time to do it with Hudson and yeah. They obviously all clearly are at an age that they want to accumulate some things that they want to sure. buy to play with or to enjoy, right? Sure. You know, so they need the facilitation of that. I think there's nothing wrong with a little entrepreneurship with their children. What's nice is that it will also bring this family together doing things together. Where's the thank yous? I don't see no thank yous around here. You. you should be grateful. We'll be getting thank some pocket you, money. You're welcome. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Coming up. Yeah. You stole money from your sister. What did you steal? Two dollars. Why are you taking money out of my car? Because we were looking for money. So let's talk to me, you and I, for a minute okay. here. Yesterday was a really tough emotional day, especially for Crystal. I gave them a good dose of truth, so it's going to be good to check in and see how everyone's doing. How are you feeling? I don't know. Res I don't know if I want to get into it. Just responsible for the family not being a good, strong unit. Um, I, th I think you're feeling like the family are in really bad shape. Sometimes I do. We've got, <clears throat> you know, a little bit of sass, right? From the older ones. Very natural, very common for this age group. That is about making sure that the children are given appropriate discipline. But we've also established that some of that pushback could have been too much control. And when we're feeling very overwhelmed and we're feeling like we're out of sorts in our own head, we hold on tighter, you know? So you could have actually just been dealing with the fact that you were holding on so tight that the kids are trying to break free. Let that go and open your heart. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So thank you for staying open with me. Yeah. And honest with me. Yeah. You know? So thank you for staying open and for being honest. It's all good. It's all coming from a place of love, right? Mum still has her moments where she goes into her head, she starts worrying about, you know, everything. It's important for her to still let go of certain stuff that she's quite controlling with. And I'm hoping she's going to overcome that. And that's what's going to help this family. Keenan, when you're done with your lunch, I need you to please put your money in your piggy bank and put your piggy bank away, okay? Yeah. You stole money from your car. Yeah. You stole money from my car. What? What did you steal? A two quarters and a penny and one penny. Why are you taking money out of my out of my car? Because we were looking for money. Okay, so you're basically telling me that you're stealing from me. Okay. Well, here's the problem, bud. Did you know that what you were doing was wrong? Are you going to return it to dad? Yes. Oh. I think it's really important that Jeff talks to his kids about their moral character. The kids are old enough to be spoken to firmly about serious situations. So let's talk to me, you and I, for a minute okay. here. All right, so this is about character. Mm -hmm. I want you to have a really firm conversation with him and tell him we've already discussed that you're going to have pocket money and that's going to be given to you to save. OK? But you start doing things like this, it's going to get you in a whole heap of trouble. God knows where that goes. You know, so you need to curb it in now. OK. Keenan, come on. Sit down. Ultimately, you ended up stealing money from me, right? And you told me that you kind of knew that that was wrong. Right? You kind of knew that that was wrong. Just because you see money does not mean it's yours. You don't want to be a thief, do you? Is this the first time this has happened? Yes. Then I would have a caution. However, there will be severe consequences if this behavior is a choice that you continue with, okay? 
I think it's just really important that Jeff is there for all of his kids and for him to be able to listen and to give them guidance. And Jeff did really well. Listen, I love you. That's the reason why we're going through this, right? I love you. And I want, you, I want the best for you. I just, I don't want you to get yourself into, into, into trouble, okay? Jackson. Okay, bye. What's up? Jackson hit Maya. What, what's, what, what happened? Did you speak to the both of them? Why has this happened? I will go speak. I was going to go speak to Maya now. Listen to both. Gather your information and then make your decision. Bring him back out. Okay. Come here, Jax. Right. Yep. Mom. Come here, Jax. With no cameras, it means that mum has to have healthy conversations with her children, find out what's going on when there's unacceptable behaviour, and really get to the heart of what the truth is. What's going on? What happened here? Collect the information. What was going on? So Maya... Maya copied me. Yeah? And it made you frustrated? Yeah. OK, so that's your information. Go straight here. What's the story? So Maya, why were you copying Jackson when you know that bothers him? I wasn't copying. I just said, no, I don't. And he was saying, yes, you do. And then he smacked me. Right, OK. So it's really, really quickly. It's not drawn out. It's not big drama. It's not theatrical. You listen to both stories. You weigh that up. It's about copying. It's like, this is what you both need to be doing. Set down the expectation. And he gets a warning. And if he continues, that's it. He will lose a privilege. Because Jackson. we already know what Look he did. This is Jack, a towel. Look at me, please. Look at me. It's a Maya needs a spot for hers to be, Jackson. Can you stop and look at me, please? Jackson, Wait. look at me in the eyes, please. Wait. Uh, excuse Jackson. me. What is this? Why are you tolerating this? Up, please. Jackson, Wait. look at me in the eyes, please. Wait. What is this? Why are you tolerating this? Up, please. Up right now, Jax. Up right now, come here. Look at me. You better behave yourself. Screaming and shouting. That's enough. You don't talk to your mother like that. Do you understand me? You don't talk to nobody like that. That's disrespectful. Do you understand me? I need to hear words. Yes. Don't yes me like that. Do you understand me? Yes. Right, you need to apologize to your mum right now. And that is what you need to be doing for yourself. You gotta handle your business yourself here with your kids. <laughs> Thank you for the apology. Listen to me. You have been warned for your behavior. We do not hit. Please do not hit. The ability to remain okay. calm when disciplining is certainly a skill that Crystal needs to own more. I think if mum can start to manage her own emotions and regulate them, then she'll teach the kids to be able to do the same as well. Today, my job is to make sure that this entire family get their house chores dealt with. How are you doing, Maya? Hi, Jax. Hi, Keenan. Can I? You left your bike out here. Can I? <laughs> they need a routine, things that the kids will get used to doing and having fun doing. What I think is going to be good for the kids is a chore chart, rather than the verbal reminders all the time. I want to get a chart, put their names, put the days of the week, and then put down what they're supposed to be okay. doing, because I need visual reminders for these kids. Oh! That's the goal, it passed the tree. Four colours, four kids. I'm just going to say laundry. Yeah. I mean, that includes bringing it. Includes... Individual folding. Right. Kiddos, we need to come in, please. <laughs> How, how low are we going to put? Um, right here? Yeah. Read my Sunday okay. for me. Pick up pine cones, tiny toys, low dishwasher, pine cones. Tidy toys. Toys clean. Clear table at all meal times. Chores are coming together. We're making it much more concise so the kids understand exactly what they're supposed to do. Do we understand it? Yes. We're all good with it? Yes. Ooh, you're in trouble, I don't care. You sat on my legs. 
shot because I didn't know it was hers. And then she ran up here, sat on my legs, and no, then I didn't. Yes, she did. Let me talk. Maya. Maya. Mom. I need you to sit down. I please. was talking. What? Maya. You always got to interrupt our conversations. I was talking. Okay. Here's the problem, Maya. Mm. Do you want to go calm down and then come back? No. So that I can focus No. Maya. Maya. I said no. Maya, I'm going to get up for a minute and then she I, hit I, me. She I'm going me to get up. I'm going to get up for a moment and then I'm going to come back and we can have this conversation, okay? Maya for a long time has been shown how you behave when you get frustrated and angry. But in this situation, Crystal's reaction was correct. Be the adult, diffuse and carry on, as anger is never going to resolve anything. Maya, are you ready to talk? Because I want to hear what you have to say, OK, honey? OK, so she went up. I took her spot because I didn't know it was hers. OK. She paused the movie. She sat on my legs. And then I moved them. And then she started screaming. And then I got up and dropped the pillow on her because she threw it at me. Thank you for sharing. Blaney, come here, please. Now what happened? And then Maya just said, like, she was like this. Haha, uh -huh. I get to lay down and you don't. So that's how it started. No, and then Maya kicked the pillow. OK, thank you both for sharing. Uh, the, no, 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 Maya, I'm not finished. Do you think it's nice to kick somebody, like, in, with the intent of kicking somebody? Can, Maya, can you, can you hand that to me, please? We're talking. Hand that to me, please. I can hear you. If you're too tempted, set it down, and you can look at it later. I can hear you. But you need to be oh. looking at me. Please set the book aside. Maya. Do you think it's nice to kick somebody, like, in, with the intent of kicking somebody? Get Maya, can you, can you hand that to me, please? We're talking. Hand that to me, please. I can hear you. If you're too tempted, set it down, and you can look at it later. I can hear you. But you need to be oh. looking at me. Do you think it's nice to kick somebody? Oh. Delaney, do you think it's nice to kick somebody? No, it's not. So thank you, girls. Mom. Go go you finish please? your show. Not bad, eh? The first thing you did was great. You removed yourself because no conversation can happen. You came back and she was ready to talk. You bring Delaney in and you heard her side. And then Maya stepped over the boundary. She was defiant. And I saw you execute this very firm voice without showing a loss of control. Next time, you need to say to them, if you can't go back down there and actually be in the same space, then I'll just switch it off. Don't I'll switch it off. You will lose all your TV for the afternoon. Yeah. This is all new for me, so learning for me too. I mean, it's got to be pounded into my head as well. It wouldn't be fair to say, I've got this. I mean, I will get it but I'm very excited to keep practicing. I'm about to leave for a couple of days. <laughs> you know I'm going to be watching you, though, OK? Right, right. Homework, separate outings with each parent. I'd like to see you over the next several days swap over your biological kids. The closer you are in knowing about each other's children as well, all the better as a blended family, right? While I'm gone, the kids are going to give them a run for their money. There's no two ways about that. And this doesn't get fixed overnight. They're going to need to put the work in because we are still a long way to go. This family will get there, though. They just need to be consistent. Bye. away from the Tobek Lawrences now for a couple of days and they've mastered some things but other things they still need work at but we'll take a review today I'm a little nervous for her to come back we had some moments that I'm not sure that went as great as she would have expected but I would love for Joe to be proud of me <laughs> come on in how you doing yeah? Yeah. 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 yeah? 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 Hi, Daniel, right? Yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah. OK. Chore sure, charts.
That was pretty good working together. Oh, I love this. You're getting it! Pretty soon you're gonna be done! Rock on, sister! No, you have <laughs> What a difference! <laughs> well done! A big difference in a very short period of time. No micromanaging, yay! So, this is your blended family, right? Spending time separately. A house with a sponge, a mini sponge that was that small. I had to do three math questions. Easy math. You close your eyes and you put under adult. What do you see? Me, my kids at the park. You and your kids at the park? Yeah. What do you do for a job? A cop. As a cop. And a baseball player. And a basketball player. And a football player. And a hockey player. Oh my gosh. I would be at the park. Same as Keenan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, gotta go. This is a beautiful example, okay, of you spending time to make your own personal relationships with each other's children. Look at the giggles, look at the laughs when it is just you and them. You give yourselves a chance to really cement and forge that relationship with these kids. Let's face it, they are all your kids, you are one. Ultimately, there is much love, you know? And that, to me, is that is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And I'd like to elevate a little bit more on that today as well. So brace yourself as we're going to get a bit busy. OK, so let's round up for the rest of the day. I really want to home in on the importance of both parents building a relationship with each other's biological children. So it's project time. I mean, if you want to earn money beyond your privileged pocket money, then you can work for it. We are going to do some teamwork together in groups. Crystal, you're going to be with this one right here, Keenan. Yes. And Delaney. Yes. And your task is making cakes and they better taste good <laughs> all right they yes. better taste good. Okay, <laughs> and dad you're gonna team with Jax and maya to make your own lemonade stand okay <laughs> all right <laughs> okay careful careful doing that you'll splatter all over oh uh, right there get that corner and put it around like that and just make a bow you get one of each. Take your lemon and just squeeze it right over the top of this one. This much lemon is probably going to be <laughs> for you one guys. picture. Oh. What? I just dried some of that. Oh. That is so sour. I don't want you to touch this, honey. Safety is very important first. If you get hurt, it will hurt you, and you will be Chef Delaney to the doctor. <laughs> and we don't want that. That's what we're talking about. Mommy, look at I put a little bit of sprinkles. Very nice. Good, Keenan. Good job, bud. Woo! All right, Jax. I dumped, dumped that whole thing in there. Hey, this is looking good. It was fun making cupcakes with Crystal. So I think it would be fair if you did what, like a dollar for a lemonade and a cupcake. Oh, look, look I'm invite them in, say, come over hey, here, look. Make cake too. Make a make oh, did you guys make them? Oh. Yeah, oh. Oh. Made oh. No, she was <laughs> Let's see. Did you know? Yeah. Happy oh, birthday. You get that phrase. There you go. There you go. The lemonade stand's actually doing a lot better than I thought it was going to. It made the kids feel like, you know, it was actually worth doing. This will absolutely be something that we'll continue doing 
Should we do free free fills? Free fills? Free refills, yeah. <laughs> free refills! These kids are full of great ideas, and yeah, it takes a little bit of planning, but what it does is show these kids that their parents are listening to them. And now they're all smiling. I'm really happy my family's happy. It's good lemonade, actually. It's, it's I was wondering bad, huh? what kind it is. It's it's homemade. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, it's really good. I'm leaving now. Can I have a big group hug? Can I? With, with Kim at the end, that's it, Cupcake Love. Is that Cupcake Love? I'm happy that Nanny Joe came. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. I think my family's happier. I'm going to miss Nanny Joe. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> you take care. Take care, OK? <laughs> Don't cry. Dolly. You're going to be OK. Of course you're going to be OK. It's very emotional for me. Um, this has been a great experience. I'm very thankful for her coming and teaching us some great techniques and giving us light to see at the end of the tunnel. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Take care, Jay. All right, you too. We're here where we are now, and I think we have more tools in our belt, and we can attack it how, how we're supposed to now. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 So it's the end of my journey with this family. I'm definitely leaving them feeling more connected with one another and heard. Crystal understanding her most important role ever. And a father that's much happier to see his family getting along a lot better. Now that's blended. I hope that they will continue to take this experience and really run with it. And that's what I hope for this family. Next time on Super Nanny. <laughs> They're like a pack of wild animals. We worked really hard to get pregnant. Surprise! We actually had three. Usually just ignore them. I can't believe what I'm seeing in there. You're not really being an assertive parent, and you're very aggressive with the boys. That's part of our problem, the lack of consistency. <laughs> you just broke it. <sighs> Spanking will never solve anything.